Listen, man, would you even know if you're dreaming right now? Like, do you know if this is a dream or not? Honestly, do you think someone like me could actually be real? Like, are you nuts? You've never actually watched a quite video in your life. They don't exist. Here, I'll prove to you that you're dreaming. Find a mirror, stand in front of it, and look at yourself. Do you look different? Like, did you do something with your hair? Get some new clothes? Because you are looking great today, fella, and I'm loving it. Hi again, guys, and don't worry, I am definitely real, which means that there are real consequences to not subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Only 20% of you have. If you go through with it, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always do it later. I'm not talked about it much, but I like scary stuff. On most days, looking in the mirror is terrifying enough, but today I wanted to dive deeper with some stuff that is considered oddly terrifying. Can you believe it? More content from Reddit. Now, despite that title, I'd say a lot of the things here are actually pretty reasonably terrifying. It's a whole lot of stuff I see and say to myself, yeah, I think it makes sense to be scared of this. Nothing odd about that. Like birds blocking out the sun in Rome. That means this took place very close to the Vatican. If I was in one of those cars, then I'm taking this as a sign the rapture's coming into town to have some fun at my expense. Though I would be happy Happy that I'm saving money on a new paint job for my car. All white. With that many birds flocking up there, the whole highway gets one. Bottom line, I don't think it would be odd at all to pee my pants if I saw that. And if you enjoy peeing your pants in this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to another one like it. Sinkhole in Turkey. That would definitely be scary to fall into, but assuming it didn't vore me alive when it first appeared, I would definitely be one of those dopes on the street just looking at this big new orifice in the ground. I'm not gonna lie. The call of the void sounding pretty good right about now. Legit, is that water down there? It looks like a new swimming hole for me and the fellas to definitely not trespass on and hang out in. This toilet at my workplace is oddly terrifying. Dude, that's just an adult timeout corner. I hate to break it to you, bud, but nobody at your job except for you is using that toilet. They make the naughty employees who poo their pants and screw up the residuals every month. Your coworkers are all using the nice executive style bathrooms only billionaires are allowed to defecate in. It's a members only thing and you have to be like cool to use it. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. Okay, this one feels personally motivated. Keep in mind this post got like 35,000 likes within a week and a half as of me writing this, and it's just Brock Lesnar's teeth. Listen, they definitely aren't something I'd want in my mouth, I don't deny that, but good god, y'all are practically cooking this dude alive for it. Sure, it's uncomfortable for us to look at them, but I'm sure they're more uncomfortable to live with. Somebody said this is from grinding your teeth in your sleep, and I am more glad than ever that I started wearing a mouth guard. Ever since I did, my jaw has stopped feeling like it'll unhinge if a fly lands on it wrong. Also, in general, this subreddit just primes me to be scared of anything it shoves in my face. I will forget that Reddit has ads while scrolling, and I'll see a thermos with a protein shake recipe next to it and scream like, ah! you know, just getting it done ahead of time because I'm expecting to be scared. That is until I clock that there's nothing actually scary there and that the real horror was that somebody was able to mark it to me right under my nose. The muscles of a tiger? What? How did this one get in? I know my audience. Not a single one of y'all are terrified of that. You furry artists are all chomping at your leash every time you see a photo of an animal from a silly little angle to make it buff. If you draw this kind of stuff, I know what you are. Yes, I know what you are. A plush Spider-Man sitting on a garbage truck. Okay, what we're not gonna do is post one of the hardest pictures of all time and then try to pretend it's creepy. That is cool as fuck, man. To the user who posted this, just admit that you saw that fella minding his own damn business, might I add. So you got jealous you weren't as effortlessly cool as him, so you posted it to Reddit because you wanted people to put some neosporin on your bruised ego. These two souls trapped in the woman's knees. They don't even describe it as looking like trapped souls, they just say, nope, that's what it is. The knees do kind of look like Wanda's kids trapped by Mephisto in hell or the Red Ords from Devil May Cry, whichever pop culture reference makes you laugh more. But come on, man. Man, that is still just some poor fella's knees. There are no faces in this photo, aside from the babies and the kneecaps, so at least the person got to stay anonymous. But if they ever just saw this post and recognized it from seeing their own legs a bunch, they must have unlocked a brand new insecurity. Wait, scratch the anonymous part, we found her. And after being made aware that she had infants in her knees, that must have been a shock. The most obvious response, the one that made the most sense for sure, was to tape baby doll limbs to her leg to enhance the effect. Well, if you wanted to make it worse, you did it. Hey, it's a killer Halloween costume idea. Use what you got, as they say. The evolution of a signature in Alzheimer's disease. All I'm saying is, until like 2009, their handwriting was just getting more legible for me. That's also because I was in like the last class of folks to learn cursive in kindergarten before they just got rid of that shit. The real thing here is that I'm illiterate and I can only read if the letters are all caps and made of sticks. I can't handle curves on letters much like I can't on people. It overwhelms me, okay? My friend is stacking his coat cans in the front hall. This is about a week's work. That guy has to have the clearest piss and the runniest shits known to man. He like lives off diuretics. That's insane. My original answer was that, hey, this is pretty bad, but not the most amount of cans I've seen in a week. The difference is, I'm pretty sure those are plus-sized Coke cans. I didn't even know they made those. It's like a can you get a pint of beer in, but it's just Coke. Why? You should be drinking straight from the two-liter bottle at that point, man. Just min-max your intake. Ooh, frogs in a tight space. A slang for hemorrhoids, by the way. I've mentioned it once or twice on the channel, but I do not trust frogs. Y'all are already scared enough at this point, so I won't show it here again. But some of the old clips we look at, the stuff they get out into the wild, is eyes-of-God-level shit. The big fella upstairs sees 
sees everything that happens on Earth through the eyes of frogs. He controls them, basically. Uh, case in point, all these frogs looking the same way as they collectively judge a man in the middle of sinning. A Turkish snowman, 1929. Dude, no way! They predicted Hassan! I mean that in the big, tall, and good-looking kind of way, or whatever. Listen, don't tell me that if you saw this big fella on Tinder, you wouldn't use your paid-for super swipe on him. Yeah, that's right, I see through you, you Tinder gold-using sucker. My hand after swimming today. I don't think you understand, man. You've got a coral reef on the palm of your hands, <laughs> literally. You're the secret to saving the Great Barrier Reef. That is a holy site for both white middle-aged tourists and the residents of Bikini Bottom. You have to restore it to its true form, man. It's all up to you to save it. My walk home? What do you mean walk? Start running, dude. This is why people die in horror movies all the time. They're always reacting instead of acting. Prevention is always better than the cure. Let me put it in bro shooter terms. It's like in Call of Duty or Battlefield, they're like most military first-person shooters. If you're behind cover in a standoff, before you peek the corner, you pre-fire. So as you leave cover, your bullets are already spitting out from where your head glitching when you poke out. It's the same way you gotta start running before the monster is even chasing you, so it's all, how the hell? He didn't even see me yet. That way, you've already got a head start, and it'll cause the aberration to give up. It's a little known fact, but humans are actually better endurance runners than incomprehensible horror. Ooh, here's a text post. Y'all know I love reading. What is a creepy fact about the human body? From my point of view, pretty much all of it. I'm a floating piece of cloth, a living hoodie, so I don't gotta think about all the specifics and weird shit that come with having organs. Y'all got it rough and are really squishy, but let's hear what Reddit has to say. Your intestines know what shape they're supposed to be in and can move themselves. This means gut surgeons can just stuff them back into you when they're done and they'll sort themselves out. That seems awfully convenient for gut surgeons. Are you sure they aren't just telling you that so they can shove your organs back inside your post-op, staple you up without figuring out the details, and then just call it a day? Oh, and then charge you your life savings after. That might be true, man, but I don't know. How do you discover that in the first place? That just seems like it makes their job too easy. I want people to work harder for less money. Work-provided healthcare should be illegal. Wait, no, scratch that. Healthcare should be illegal. It looks like this tree absorbed someone. That is tragic, but whoever it absorbed, god damn, they were fine. They've got thighs the size of tree trunks. Funny that. The hip to waist ratio is insane. Good lord, that is my dream figure. I am so happy for them. Not the absorbed by the tree part, but on the thighs. This abandoned hospital had a visitor last night. Dude, that is an apartment complex. Everyone else is just asleep at a normal time while this guy's up playing Platinum Rank Overwatch. If you ever walk by a residential area with a bunch of windows in it like that, you can tell who has the worst sleep schedule by what color their lights are at night. Anything other than the bright yellow or white that comes with stock bulbs means they definitely have not seen a sunrise after waking up since high school. The Hoover Dam Spillway Tunnel. 50 feet wide and 600 feet deep. You can hear rushing water in the darkness. The walkway above gives a sense of scale. Lame! We have built way crazier water slides than that. If you wear a helmet and knee pads and just skated straight down that thing, you'd probably be fine. Slash J on that last one, but jokes aside, I kind of want to touch more on this ooh, scary type of content in the future. And one of the things I thought of was megalophobia. Just fear of big, big stuff. And hey, posts like this kind of make me want to do it more, so let me know if you want that. This street lamp in Rowclaw. That is exactly the type of shit I'd expect to see in a place named Rowclaw. Listen, I know it is not pronounced like that in the slightest, but it's written like that in English, and I am ignorant. And if you used my butchered pronunciation of the Polish word, it sounds like a made-up city in a Scooby-Doo movie. A city that ends up being one of the few they go to that it's actually haunted. Instead of carving the jack-o'-lantern myself this year, I poked a bunch of small holes in a pumpkin and stuffed the holes with peanut butter. I've seen this concept done in different contexts on certain websites. I then let the squirrels go at it, they also do that in the other ones, for two days. The result is something truly disturbing. Damn, even pumpkin carvers are losing their jobs to automation. Still, the disturbing part here is not what this pumpkin looks like to us, it's whatever the hell the pumpkin has been through. This dude looks like he has gotten the most mind-bending, soul-slurping, spirit-sucking head ever performed. When he came down from that high, the rest of reality just pales in comparison. His face is stuck in a perpetual gasp. Forget the chipmunks, they do not have shit on whatever this guy was getting. Just some regular rubber gloves washing accidentally opened the gate of hell. Listen, guys, I don't want to assume anything, but the main reason I've seen cloth get stiff like that is because something sticky gets shot inside, and then that sticky stuff gets crusty. And I gotta tell you, that is a lot of stiffed up gloves. I'm not saying you did what I'm implying here, but if you see someone at a grocery store check out with some sponges, latex gloves, and some rubber bands, you either know what they're used for, or you don't. Simple as that. A friend of mine just sent me a picture of his dinner. A slice of cheese, salt, pepper, Tabasco, soy sauce, and ignore the toe. Bruh, how do you expect me to do that? It's practically a Zach Fox album cover. Now, this post is funny to me for a personal reason. You see, when researching content to write about in videos, me and Nina, my editor, split up the work of finding posts. Well, Nina found this one, and it has zero likes to this day. She saw the grossest food imaginable, not even on a gross food subreddit, and thought, yeah, quite's gonna love this one. Sorting by new on Reddit is one of the bravest things a person can do. A wind turbine after being hit by a tornado
Toledo in Texas. Aw, look at him. He's so sad. What a poor little guy. You listen here, fella. You stay right here, and I'm gonna get some Viagra. I'll shove it in the closest thing you've got to a mouth, and you'll be standing right back up in no time. If only Viagra worked with broken spines. This is Point Nemo, the spot farthest away from any land in the world. You are closer to astronauts aboard the ISS than humanity. All that and this cocky little shit still just went out there on a sailboat. Listen, you're asking to get smited by whatever sea gods you don't even know you're mocking. This also is another one of those specific fears I thought would be fun to make a video of. Uh, thalassophobia. Yeah, I don't get original ideas often. It's just fear of the ocean and how deep and unknown it is. It makes me scared to drink water, because like, what if in my stomach where I can't see, there's a big man-eating whale living in there? I gotta keep dehydrated just to be safe. They can't live outside of water. The snow in the Wizard of Oz movie was 100% pure asbestos. Oh, that's good. None of that processed garbage then. I like my carcinogens pure and distilled. It's been said before, but every generation has their own iconic passive poison. Something that was considered to be a new miracle material everybody thought was sick before they realized it made us sick. At one point it was lead. People used to love that shit. Just put it in paint, pipes, the water supply, anything. Then oops, it causes cancer. My bad. And people my age, I think, have the coolest one, microplastics. It was just such a convenient way to package things, and it would contaminate all the food that we put inside of it. And now it's inside of us. It feels good to finally have a slow-burning, cancer-causing poison in my body to call my own, you know? It feels like a rite of passage. Like, it makes me feel more connected to other folks around me. We have more in common than we don't, you know. And that is the end of my rope, fellas. That card I mentioned should be on screen. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I'm making a really weird face that you can't see right now.